I'm Jane King for The Street for the Nasdaq market site in Times Square. Global stocks are following Wall Street higher. The S&P 500 closed at a record high Monday after Hurricane Irma didn't do as much damage as first feared. Insurance companies did especially well after taking a beating last week. Now, European and Asian indexes were higher with the Nikkei in Japan, adding more than 1%. Well, today is one of Apple's biggest events in years. It's expected to unveil its new iPhone and other products today. The new X iPhone is supposedly the biggest upgrade in a decade and reportedly will cost a thousand bucks. It's also expected to be in short supply, at least at first. The event kicks off at 10 a.m. California time and Apple will provide a live stream on the website. And Dow and DuPont changing plans of their breakup. The two companies just finalized their merger two weeks ago. The Wall Street Journal reports a combined company had long planned to split into three separate businesses over the next 18 months, agriculture, specialty chemical products, and materials. Now, the new plan moves businesses with more than $8 billion in annual revenue from the materials spinoff into the specialty chemical concern. The companies say it will allow them to focus on specific customers, and that decision comes after a five-month review. While well, happening today, the NFIB Small Business Optimism Index is already out. Capital spending plans at a post-recession high. The Jolts Jobs Survey will also be released and Redbook retail sales will be reported. That's a wrap for us. But be sure to check breaking news and analysis all day at thestreet.com at the Nasdaq market site in Times Square. I'm Jane King for The Street. Have a great day.